When I first started to play for um, Chelsea, I, I would do started in the reserves and obviously didn't see no racism and that was a learning curve for me because it was playing the reserves, I thought it would be hard, it was pretty easy because I was on the wing, I was scoring goals, making goals, I was doing my job and that's how obviously I got drafted into the first team. It was when I played in the first team, that's when it hit me, um, the racism. I've got to say this, a minority, that was it for me being accepted and obviously because people think that you don't get hurt you do but when you're playing on a pitch and you can hear this other side and it's coming from your own it does hurt um, at times it was frightening and I said before that like Chelsea they know back then they didn't do enough more than enough whereas now they make sure you know what I mean it's not there at Chelsea that's all they can be concerned about and if it was to be honest how many black players have you seen now at Chelsea when I came back in 2004, I had seven black players in the team. And a fan knocked my shoulder and told me, Paul, this is because of you. I was really proud of that. Now that I'm retired from football, what do I do? I, I concentrate on my foundation, MTC and M4C. It's motivate to change or motivate for change. And that's helping with disadvantaged kids, helping with youths of today's youth. Um, giving them, motivating them, making them believe in themselves and it's quite, it's not easy but I think I have so much of a story to tell um, that they can relate with um, as much as how important their education is that, yeah, follow your dreams. To motivate um, to the youngsters of today, um, please, please, please believe in yourself, um, give yourself a chance, do educate yourself, you're here to learn. Um, take the opportunity, there's so many avenues here that are open to you. Um, forget about that instant gratification, I mention it so much, I'm wanting it now. It's not always going to help having to get that now, sometimes there's downfalls in that. I just believe that no matter what trade and what you want to learn, go for it, believe in it, motivate yourself and give yourself a chance because you are the next generation and when the youngsters follow, you can then teach them. That's my name. So I'm telling you early now, you shouldn't know, but the documentary is coming out on the 22nd of March. Look out for it on Sky. There you go. The name is Paul Kenneth Cannival, known as King Canners. I'm the very first black player at Chelsea from 1982. So I'm gonna tell you the truth. What I do is motivate to change. And I'm a big creative. Check it. <laughs>